Welcome to your new MakerBot Digitizer Desktop 3D Scanner. The MakerBot Digitizer quickly turns the things in your world into 3D models that you can modify, improve, share, and 3D print. Today, we're going to take a look at how it works and do a quick run through. The first thing is to find a nice sturdy spot for your digitizer. Pay special attention to lighting and make sure that there are no bright lights in the camera's field of view and avoid sunlight and windows as much as possible. Once you've found a sturdy spot for your digitizer and it's all plugged in and ready to go, you can download the MakerWare for Digitizer software from our website, MakerBot.com. The first time you open MakerWare for Digitizer software, you'll be prompted with a welcome screen. This will guide you through a simple three-step calibration process to ensure that your scanner is ready to go. Let's take a look at how that works. The first step is to ensure that your filter is over your camera lens. If it's not, slide it over and ensure it clicks into place. The next step is camera calibration. To perform it, take your calibration tool, ensure that the A is pointing upward, and fit the peg on the bottom into the center hole in the turntable. Click in the software to continue. After camera calibration, you then need to perform turntable calibration. Your calibration tool should be flipped over so that the B is pointing upward, and again, the peg on the bottom fits into the center hole in your turntable. And click in the software to continue. Finally, you need to calibrate your lasers. Remove the insert from the calibration tool. Make sure the C is pointing upward and place it in the center of the turntable as shown. Click in the software to continue. Now you're all calibrated and ready to scan. Once you're calibrated and you've selected an object you want to scan, go ahead and place it in the center of the turntable. Center is usually best, but it's not always the case. Feel free to experiment with object positioning. In the software, you'll see the new scan screen. You'll notice the camera feed is very dark. This is good. This tells you that there are no lights flooding your camera. Now, select the shade of your object. There are three settings, light, medium, and dark. Select the one that best suits your object. Then click Start Scan to get the whole process moving. You'll notice your first laser will turn on and your object will begin to rotate. The laser light is reflecting off the object into the camera sensor and the software is processing it into a 3D point cloud on screen. After the first rotation completes, the lasers will switch and it will do another full rotation. You will then have two point clouds that will then be merged and meshed together into a 3D printable watertight mesh. Once your scan is complete, you can choose to share it on Thingiverse, which will prompt you to take a photo, or you can share it with your other social networks. You can also save a copy as an STL directly onto your hard drive, or hit the Print with MakerWare button, which will open it into a MakerWare window where you can export it to a 3D printable file and bring it right over to your MakerBot Replicator 2 and get it printing. On the right, you'll see the original MakerBot GNOME, and on the left, you'll see the digitized and printed GNOME. You'll notice a slight loss in detail, but the MakerBot digitizer still makes an excellent replica of your original model. Now go to MakerBot.com, order a MakerBot digitizer, and see what you can scan.